Laura is expected to be a major hurricane at landfall along the Texas and Louisiana coast. We know there's going to be significant wind along with it. Also, there's going to be significant storm surge flooding. Let's have a look at the storm surge maps produced by the National Hurricane Center, giving you an idea of the reasonable worst case scenario for how much water you can expect above normally dry ground. Look at all these regions that could be underwater, even well north of I-10. Let's even have a closer look at some of the areas in and around Lake Charles. For example, this is the Lake Charles Civic Center. Six to nine feet of flooding could inundate the entire region. And just north of there, well, let's have a look at the city courthouse where more than nine feet of flooding could occur. But how about the airport just to the south? There may be well over nine feet in a very large area completely flooding the region. This is exactly why you need to evacuate. I'm not gonna stop there. Let me show you what that looks like. Just a couple of inches of water can knock you off balance and a couple of feet of water can send a car floating away. When you have that storm surge rise up to three feet, it's too late to evacuate. You need to shelter in place. All kinds of stuff could be in this water. Dangerous wildlife or even cars and objects with enough force moving around to act like a battering ram and knock down walls and even buildings. But we know there's gonna be storm surge flooding above that. Let's go to six feet. How about that? Six feet of water rise. You better move to the highest floor of a building. That's the only way to survive. And unfortunately, there are gonna be places that can more than six feet. How about nine feet of storm surge and even more than that? This is not survivable. And this is why you need to evacuate when told to do so. So please follow the updates from the National Hurricane Center and pay attention to those evacuation orders when issued. This is a very dangerous scenario unfolded and please stay safe.